Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I do look the same. This is a product of pre-filming. So today's video is the 20 favorites in 2020. If any of you guys know me, I normally pan things that are close to expiring, dying, could nearly die, or I need to get out of my collection. And then that normally means that I don't focus on anything else because I just get so stuck on those products and then everything else is not getting used and I never ever let myself I don't know why I do this but I never let myself use things that I love so I actually neglect the things I like a lot and don't use the things I dislike or like a little letter or whatever you know what I'm saying so when Denise from Just Some Makeup Hands reached out on Instagram and said do you want to participate she had set this project up I was just so delighted and she is genuinely such a nice person so i leave her instagram handle linked down below and i like i suggest reaching out giving her a little look her instagram is really entertaining um if you're interested in project pans and stuff like that uh she even has highlights there that i i really like the people that use their stories interactively i like that as well she's really nice it was a really creative idea a nice spin off on the normal the normal ones that we see so I'm doing this project to allow myself to use things I love and then I'm doing the team project pan to do my normal rolling get stuff out so at the moment my intention is not rolling so I just that could change going forward I might bring it down once I get down to 10 maybe keep rolling on the 10 I don't know yet but for now it's not rolling so I have 20 categories and that's what we're doing. So let's just get into it. For me, at update one, I have finished one product. So now we have 19 left. So I'll start with that one. So the first product I finished is the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. If I have a picture of it, I'll insert it on the screen, but like it's just a cream and it's all gone. I'm kind of so, oops, the daisies. I'm so happy that I allowed, uh, this project allowed me to use it. No one in this world is stopping me from using it but my brain. It's always like, oh no, 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 Steph, no, no, don't finish it, don't. Oh my God. And you know, like you only live once, like, come on, use it. So this kind of mentally allowed myself to use it and now it's finished and it's fantastic and I absolutely love it. When you put it on, it's it smells up your jammies if you're putting it on before bed and then you still smell of it the following day which I can't say that for any other body lotion and I have a lot that I like so that's this one all gone and I'm actually not sad I'm actually happy about it that I used it and it was something I love and like it brought joy to my normal day getting like my week work day brought joy to it so it actually made a difference so my favorite foundation is the it cosmetic CC cream and I've only moved down this little little bit um, which I'm, I don't mind, like, you know, I'm happy enough with, I don't put on a lot of this at any given time. I'm also panning another foundation in another project. So I'm using them in conjunction with each other. And I kind of wear this one when I'm like on weekends, when I'm going somewhere nice, which is not often, but, and then I wear the other one to work. But yeah, I really like this. And we've gone down a little, a little bit, but like, I think we can finish this throughout the year. There's no rushes there. I have four foundations. What's the harm in taking your time and enjoying something that you love? At the end of the day, if you love something, it's not, why rush? Okay guys, if I move at any time, I have the weighing scales behind me, but my favorite blush is the Tarte Extraordinary Blush. It came from the 2017, I think it is, Blush Bazaar palette for Christmas, where you get 10, eight blushes, two highlighters. So I had used it up, hit pan, and used it to a point where I needed to repress it. And I had repressed it into this palette here, into this palette, into this powder that I'd finished up here. So it actually doesn't look any different. <laughs> Jeez. Um, I used this 10 times this month. It's absolutely beautiful. Like I just can't, like it's going to take 17, why do I say seven all the time? It's going to take such a long time to use, but I just, I really like it. Like, so I shouldn't be rushing on it. But yeah, I used it 10 times. Last month it weighed 65 grams and this month it still weighs 65 grams. I don't really know why I weighed it because I can't imagine there's many grams left in this to actually make a difference unless it was gone. But. I used it 10 times. For my favorite highlighter, I chose my favorite highlighter at the moment, which is the, from the Huda Beauty Pink Sands edition. And it is in the shade Ibiza. Um, I suppose I'll just show you what it looked like last time. It doesn't look all that different. 
Now in person, this has a bit of a dip, a bit of a dip. Can you see, you can see disruption from there anyway. I know you can, but can you see the little divot? I, I, like, I don't know how I feel about the formula, but my Lord is the color fantastic. You can use this as a highlighter, as an eyeshadow, as a blush topper. It's just beautiful. I really like that. So there's actually a little bit of a dip. So what I've been doing is I've been tracking the number of uses since I've ever started to use it because I got it in July and I want to count how many uses it actually takes to hit pan. But my goal for this project is to hit pan. So I have used it seven times in the month of January and I've used it 18 times ever in the world. So it's been used seven times for the purpose of this project uh, at the point of this update. But this amount of usage is, sorry for my nails, is 18 uses, okay? I really am so happy I'm getting to use it. Yeah, you can really see a dip in person. The last time that product weighed 154 grams and it still weighs 154 grams. Thank God you do multiple ways of tracking things because that is a hit in the gut. For our favorite bronzers, I chose my second favorite bronzer because my actual favorite bronzer is the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer, but I used that up to completion. It was my last bronzer that I finished, so I didn't want to use them, use it back to back, and I had just repurchased that uh, at Black Friday. So I chose my second favorite at the moment that's in my collection, and it is the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight, and it is 16 grams or 0 0.56 ounces. But here it is now. I have used this seven times like I have a big bright light in my face why isn't that helping there is not like in person you can see a teeny tiny dip here and you can see the lines have kind of worn here it weighs the same as it did last month last month it weighed 111 grams and it still weighs 111 grams so my goal from this is to hit pan so I'm happy I get to use something I like to hit pan and my other project I'm using something I couldn't really care about to finish so for favorite lip product I chose two because it's a combination. They're actually liquid lipsticks and I know everyone's going off liquid lipsticks because they're not necessarily comfortable and they're drying, but I just find them really handy to stay on in situations. Most lipsticks, for some reason, transfer onto my teeth. I just don't know why. But anyway, this color combination is my favorite. So it is the Tartiest Tart, Tartiest Tart Lip Paint in Pillow Talk. And I got these in 2017 off the Tarte website in their bundle offer that they have. And this is the NYX, what is this? The NYX Liquid Suede in, it's a cream lipstick in Sandstorm. Um, oh my God, it's gorgeous. This combination makes your lips look so much bigger. You just put this all over and you just put this in the center and your lips look mahusive, in my opinion. My humble opinion. So the last time this weighed 19 grams and now it weighs 18. So I went down a gram. How did I go down a gram? God knows, Lord only knows. I'll swatch them. This one weighed 24 grams the last time and now it weighs 22 grams. So I went down two grams, but I actually had to take the stopper out of this because I wasn't getting any more product on the wand. It wasn't even coating the stick, like the stick part. So I had to take the stopper out. There was nothing coming onto my lips really at all. So I only took it out this morning. Was it this morning or yesterday morning? All the days are meshing together for me because my days are so long. God, this is a bit dry now. Here they are. This is the NYX one and this is the Tarte one. And the combination is beautiful. It's really stunning. I might wear it in a video just to show you guys, see what it looks like. I really enjoy it. It makes me feel nicer. It kind of goes with everything as well. I can't wait to actually finish liquid lipsticks this year. So for perfume, my favorite perfumes are the, uh, currently, out of what I've tried, are the Jo Malone ones, but I actually, and it's Wood Sage and Sea Salt is my favorite perfume currently. Jenny Glow is a brand that smells, it's a kind of a dupe of Jo Malone, and it is an exact dupe from my experience. Uh, and I've tested it out on Porik, who literally would not give a crap. I sprayed the real one on one arm, the fake one, fake one, dupe one on the other arm, went in, said, Kade on scale, what's the difference? Uh, is there a difference? And he said, mm, no. And I said, if you had to, like, if you had to, he said that this one, he didn't know it was this one, he pointed to this arm, smelled slightly stronger. There you go. 
So this cost me like I think 16 euros and the mils are like 100 mils, 80 mils. Like it's a big bottle. 80 mils. Look at me getting to use stuff I like. Yes, I never do that. So I went down this much. I'm panning a lot of fragrances so I'm happy to see that there is progress. So I leave this in my bathroom and I spray it on me after a shower. This is how much I've gone down. I'm pretty happy about it. I'm really happy about this next one because you can't tell any progress. It's my favorite concealer. And at the moment out of the, I don't know how many I have, under 10, um, it's my, and I have expensive ones as well. And it's actually my favorite one. Is it the cheap, one of the cheapest ones I have. It's the Collection Lasting Perfection in the shade Fair One. I use it to brighten under here. I really like it at the moment. I have no issues with it. It's quite brightening. It's not full, full coverage like the Tarte one, the Shape Tape, but it's not so light that it's transparent. It's somewhere nice in the middle. At the intro, which was last month, it was 13 grams and now it weighs 12 grams. So I've gone down a gram. That is so surprising. So I think for this next one, we've had fairies come uh, and trespass on my property um, because the next favorite I have, I didn't really have a favorite pressed powder, so I just chose my most expensive one so that I could get use out of it. Um, I chose the NARS pressed powder, uh, light, reflect, light reflecting setting powder pressed. Um, I use this all month. I use a face powder that I kind of don't like, to be honest, in the morning, and I use this to set the rest of the day. It's handy to smooth out your skin. I don't notice it keeping me any way more. I don't really notice, like I'm not, I don't know. I don't think it's worth the 30 something quid. This was 63 grams at the intro and now it's 65. So someone has been sprinkling miracle Grow all up on this, surely. So it just, I'd, it looks, the, I'll try and put the photo there. It looks the same. In real life, you can see a ring, but like when I got it, you could kind of see a ring. Can you see that? So my goal is to finish this up. Um, I like the packaging. I like that I get to try it. It is a nice powder, but it's not particularly nicer than my Rimmel one or, you know, the Rimmel one with the clear lid. It's not better than that. And it's like 30 something euros more than that. That's my opinion. Um, it also probably depends on your skin type and texture and age, but for my own personal use, I don't s currently see a, a need to repurchase it, but I'm glad that I was lucky enough to get to try it. It is seven grams and it's 0 0.24 ounces. This next one, like literally made me kind of what when I saw the weight difference. So it is for my favorite primer. I don't really have a favorite primer because I've been panning a primer for over a year now and I've almost forgotten because I've been panning that one for so long. So I chose the next, I don't have many primers in my collection. And at the time of choosing this project, which was in January, I only had this one as an actual primer to use. So I chose this one and it is the Smashbox Original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. And I got it February, 2019 with a voucher. So I didn't pay for it and it is a year old in February. And I only opened it and took the wrapper off after that last video. So this weighed 46 grams um, at the intro and it now weighs 40 grams. I've gone down six grams. It says here on the packaging that there's 30 mils in it or one fluid ounce, which is a, technically a foundation. I am shocked. How did I use six grams of it? I use it on my forehead across here because I get pory here. It's very silicone on my nose and sometimes on my chin. I don't actually use it everywhere and I didn't use it all month. I didn't, I didn't even use it the full month because I was panning another foundation, another primer and another project. I was panning both. So how did I use that? It doesn't matter, but it's just 39 euros. So I'm curious to see how long this will take to use because that one that took me over a year only cost me three euros and something cent and so I like it though. Like it blocks up your fours. It kind of feels like it feels heavy, but I do like how it makes my face look. I did a silly numpty. I did a silly numpty thing last month. So I chose a favorite contour product, which is this cream one here from Smashbox. It's one of their Smashbox sticks. I have since discovered that it's been discontinued, which really upsets me. Like it, 
it, it bothers me. Upset is a bit strong, but it bothers me because I haven't found anything that I like this much. There's three sticks, a bronzer, a contour, and a highlight. This is the contour shade, and I forgot to mark it on a piece of paper, but I have gone down quite a bit. I wonder, I don't even know if it's if there's a point in inserting it, but like I'm, I'm using it now where the packaging is coming off and I need to sharpen it again. Does anyone know a contour cream product that's as precise as this? I have other cream contours that I will use after this and then consider purchasing another cream product, but like this is a very precise pencil. So I don't have cheekbones naturally, like I do, but they're not visible. So I kind of carve them out. Whereas normal cream products are kind of cover more of a surface area. Whereas this I could just boop and then blend upwards and carve what I wanted. So I better leave this out to sharpen it, but I have used it quite a bit and I want to finish. I don't want to finish it because it's discontinued, but I need to finish it because it's getting older. So that's the goal. The next, instead of choosing a favorite eyeshadow palette because I'm doing a pan matte palette with like 26 eyeshadows in it, I decided to choose my favorite singles at the time of this intro, which suggests I bought more. Oh. Anyway, my favorite eyeshadows, I didn't bother weighing them because they're not going to have a weight difference since they're singles, really. So I chose the Makeup Geek I Am Peachless and my goal is to hit pan. I, I don't know if there's a point showing you the last update because there's not much of a difference, but I want to hit pan and there is a dip in her. Look at that. Can you see? So I used this eyeshadow six times this month, which I'm pretty impressed with considering I am panning so many eyeshadows. Let me swatch it for you. There it is there. Down there. Sorry, I, I'm having an allergic reaction to something and uh, I'm dealing with it, but that's what that is. It's so beautiful. You can use it on your eyes, inner corner. I've been using it as a highlighter. And then the second eyeshadow I chose, I only used it three times, but at least I got use out of everything. January is kind of my month of learning all the project items I've chosen to see what kind of a rotation I want to put it in. So this is this one here. And this is also from Makeup Geek. And it's, the both of these are from her Duochrome collection. Absolutely. Stunning. This one is quite popular in work actually with people that aren't aren't as into makeup as I am. And this one seems to be the breadwinner out of the two, even though the other one is my favourite. So that is it there. Boom girl, boom. That'd be that I've used as a highlighter, I've just faded it out more. It's stunning. Those are my favourites. And they still are. I also have another favorite body lotion in here um, because I have two favorite body lotions and this one is more accessible to people in Europe than the Boom Boom Cream. This one is the Champ Champneys Health and Spa, the original, a little pick-me-up citrus blush body lotion. There's a few in this similar packaging. It's the body lotion one and they went from here to here. Again, I leave it in my bathroom and put it on after the shower. As I've mentioned previously, I've been having issues with a so really bad hives, uh, which I'm working on figuring out the root of with a doctor, it's fine. But I was like, is this what's causing it? Like, I have nothing new in my life. So I had to kind of eliminate things to see if that's what it is. So that's why there isn't actually more usage because I was testing out. It doesn't appear to be this, so that's good. <laughs> I was actually worried that it was this. So for eyeliner, I chose a black eyeliner because my favorite eyeliner is just a black but I haven't got a favorite black eyeliner at the moment because I'm trying to find something that lasts in the waterline. So I said I would choose the oldest one in my collection at the moment. So I chose the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. I'm not happy about this one. So it's kind of a shame it's now my favorites. I have it on today so you can see, look, it falls down. I've put this on, it's what time is it now? It's half eight at night and I put this on at seven o'clock this morning and it just keeps falling down under there and I can't get it off. It looks terrible. I don't really know what to do. So I decided to use it as an eye base instead, but like working where I work, it's like how appropriate is it to be wearing something that's heavy that requires a black base? But anyway, I'll show you my progress. Currently, I just would not recommend buying this. I, well, I'm not gonna buy it again. Me, I don't know why. So here we have our markings. So can you see this here? So I went from this top line here down to here in the month of January. I am pretty happy. I can't really hold this at the same time. Pretty happy that there is a noticeable difference, at least then that 
you know, something's happening. So now that's in my 20 favorites, but it's it's actually not a favorite. Guys, for my favorite skincare product at the moment, it's the Ola Henriksen Truth Serum. This is the one I use at home. I left the one I'm panning in work by accident. So I will just insert a picture of my progress here. It's in my desk at work. It's my favorite. It's just my favorite everything in relation to skin. It's so, so expensive. Um, I got it because I got it in a little set, a little tree, a little set that you can get for like 30 something quid. And that's how I got to experience it. But like what? Like this makes a difference. This, whoa, did that make my skin look so much better. Now I have weird, I've got oil. I always had really oily skin, but now I seem to have oily everywhere, but right there. I say as right now I touch it and it's wet. This little bit here feels dry, but everything else is an oily mess. Um, this just makes your makeup look fantastic as well. I really like it uh, and I'll insert my progress on the screen. I really am not in a rush. I'd say I'll finish it quite soon, but I, I'm not in a rush. For favorite lip gloss, I actually just chose a clear lip gloss because my favorite lip gloss is a clear one. I don't currently have a favorite brand or formula, just the fact that it's clear and I'm on the hunt for a non-sticky one. So I chose the Bourjois, it's not cruelty free as far as I'm aware, that's kind of why I chose it. The two-in-one Hyper Rouge Hyper Fix. Last month it weighed 19 grams and this month it weighs 18, so I've gone down a gram. It's now discolored from me applying it. Sorry about that, I never actually marked it. So here is where it is now. I'm happy I have progress on everything because I have so many products and projects, I'm just glad I'm getting use out of everything. Here, let me just turn this down. You see? There. It says there's three, how much does it say? There's three and a half mils in this. It says uh, 0 0.1 fluid ounce, is that right? So we have two products left and we're done. For perfume, I also, as I said, the Jo Malone ones are like my favorite. So I said I'd choose another fake Jo Malone one. And this one is from Aldi. And it is the pomegranate number three and it smells quite comparable to the pomegranate noir and this is in pomegranate noir there's 15 mils in it and here is where i am now gosh this looks how am i holding this right when i'm standing and on a table that's where the line is but there's only 15 mils in it i'm glad that i'm getting used out of absolutely everything i really like this i got like 10 of them in a set in aldi for like 17 euros and it smells beautiful if this one was sold on its own i would buy it and I'm using it in work on my desk and I really like it. The last one is my lip liner and my favorite lip liner is a nude brown. My very favorite is the Cappuccino by Rimmel. But again, I have yet to repurchase and I don't, I'm trying to find a cruelty free dupe at the moment. I just can't seem to. It is a cool tone brown and it's quite dark. So instead I chose another brownie one I have and it's from MAC and it is MAC Whirl. I'll do a little been wearing it with these brown lipsticks just above here just do a hefty swatch that's it there so i've been wearing it with this um i like this combination but i still prefer the rimmel one with these because this is kind of warm it's not even that brown really is it when you look at it it's kind of what would you call that i don't know move anyway i'll show you my little marking there it is here so there's the end of the page so i actually went from this top line that middle line is like a mistake it's top line to that third line so it didn't go down an awful lot but it still went down that's my progress there on my 20 items i'm so happy if you stuck to this point of the video um i'm really i'm really appreciative of the fact that i'm letting been allowed for whatever reason um to use things i actually really enjoy it makes my day a lot better. Um, just brings a lot more joy into it. Thank you so much to Denise and everyone else. The, everyone else that's in this project is on Instagram as well. Laura, I'll link Laura and I'll link the playlist because there's three of us as far as I'm aware that's doing it on YouTube and the rest are on Instagram and they're a really lovely supportive bunch of people, not just in makeup, but just as people. So uh, I suggest um, checking them out. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video where I most likely will look exactly the same. <laughs> Take care. Goodbye.